Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brescher here. Today, we're going to look at applying an understanding of proportional relationships and percents to solve real-world problems. It could be like uh, involving tax or discount, a tip or gratuity, um, interest, something like that. First, we see our example here. And this is just how we could set up a proportion uh, to solve a find the total cost after you leave a tip okay and you could set up the proportion your cost after the tip over the total cost of the meal thirty six dollars and seventy three cents equals a hundred percent plus the fifteen percent tip and you could go about this whole process and use your cross products and then solve for X by dividing both sides by a hundred and you get x equals this value and then finally when you round to the nearest cent you get forty two dollars and twenty four cents but that is a long drawn out process and I'm going to show you a much faster way to solve this same type of problem it's called the ten percent rule and all you have to do to find 10% of a number is move the decimal one place to the left. So if this is the cost of my meal, $36.73, I move the decimal one place to the left, and it gives me 10%. Now if I'm leaving a 15% tip, then I can figure out the other 5% by taking this number, which is 10%, and dividing it by 2. I get a dollar and eighty four cents then we simply add them together and we have a total of fifteen percent our tip is five dollars and fifty one cents now if we want to know the cost after the tip we take our original cost plus the tip and we get our answer so you can find it either way but the ten percent rule saves a lot of time let's practice using this ten percent rule what would be 10% of $36.73? Well, that's just like the one that we just did. How about this one? What's 10% of $1.84? That's right. And if we round to the nearest cent, it would be 18 cents. What's 10% of $12.80? Yes. A dollar and twenty-eight cents. We just drop the zero, rounding to the hundreds place or the near cent. What's ten percent of twenty-four dollars and fifty cents? Two dollars and forty-five cents. You can see all we're doing is moving the decimal one place to the left and then rewriting the value. Twelve dollars and fifty cents. And you can actually use this idea to quickly find 20% of a number as well, because 20% is twice as much as 10%. So take this value times 2, and then if you rounded to near cent, it would be $7.35. Once again, if we round to the nearest cent on this one, we would have 37 cents. Here, 20% of $12.80 is twice as much as $1.28, which is $2.56. And 20% of $24.50, we just multiply that 10% times 2 and we get $4.90. And again, for our last one, 20% of $125. We take 10%, which is $12.50, times 2, and we get $25. Let's try to apply this to solve some real-world problems. You purchase a new pair of shoes, and they are on sale for 10% off. So we have 10% off. How much will it cost if the original cost is $44, or original price? Well, the first thing that we need to do is write our $44 and find out what 10% is, $4.40. Then we simply subtract that value since it's a discount from the original price and we get $39.60. Why don't you try this next one? See what you come up with. 
The original cost of a new bicycle is $120. If it is on sale for 30% off, what is the discount price? Go ahead and find 10%. What did you come up with? Okay, and you have 30% discount though. So we have to think about how that relates to 10%. That's right, times 3. So now we can subtract $36 from the original price and we get $84 as the discount price. Moving on to the next one. The original cost for a pair of jeans is $45. They're on sale for 20% off. What is the discount price? Again, let's use the 10% rule, and when we do this, we can quickly find that that 10% is $4.50. So 20% would be $9, and when we subtract that, we get our answer of $36. Well, I hope this helped you out with percents. Remember, if you ever come to a really difficult one like 3.5%, your best bet is to convert it to a decimal by moving that decimal two places to the left and then multiplying that by the original value. Well, hope this helped you out. See ya! See ya!